What is up guys? Welcome to not a musk hunt, but a pike hunt. I am on Lake Superior finally. I have not been out on this beautiful body of water for not last year. I didn't get out last year, but the year before I got out a few times. I've done this probably three or four times. Um, biggest fish I have gotten out of here uh, is 37 inches. So that's a nice pike. But I know there's rumors of mid 40 inch class fish. Obviously, I don't know. I just don't know if those class of fish sit in the weeds. So that's what I'm doing today. Finding some weeds out here and uh, chucking some rubber at them or whatever. But I uh, just got the afternoon to go try this out. Um, wind's not too bad right now, but when I was launching, I wanted to go to my prime spot, but uh, it just didn't seem like a good idea to go to. So I'm gonna test out this one, look at uh, some wind apps and uh, hopefully get to that spot that I really like. Um, I was just in Green Bay yesterday, so I guess I could not get uh, enough of the Great Lakes fishing. So I'm gonna get drifting here, throw some weeds, rip some rubber. That's the game plan. Hopefully uh, they, they're biting. All righty. Get Chuck in here. Ooh, this mini black Medusa's been, uh, been wrecked before. One tip is to always have a little torch in the boat. Um, you can make a bait last a lot longer, not losing tails and whatnot. See if I can find mine. That's almost a tail gone. <laughs> Never really showed much love to this one, I guess. Get that flame in on that one side. Just kind of touch it right, just like that. I guess I didn't really show where I was doing it. Okay, ready to go. Got that flamed. That took way too long. I'll be sitting in about 16 feet of water. Water is nice and clear. Weeds are about 40 feet away from me. They look like they stand pretty tall. Just gonna rip this around. Hope for the best. Like I said, I don't know much about this place, but I know there's rumors of giant pike. They catch them sprint in the springtime while uh, smallmouth fish it. Oh, I'm on. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding. There's a nice superior pike. <laughs> First cast. Oh yeah. Okay, that was cool. I'm gonna anchor up here. Jeez, that's not a bad gator. First flipping cast. I guess I'll put a waypoint down. They're just so beefy out here. Wow. I like that. All right. That didn't take long. Nice superior pike. Gosh, probably uh, almost a 30 incher. I mean, that is a big head. And look how fat these things are. Just slobs. I was going to get the big camera out, but I'd rather just keep fishing. If they're biting like this, it could be pretty amazing. Look at that clear water Great Lakes pike. First cast. You got to be kidding me. Bye bye, girl. This water is cold, 68 degrees. Well, I guess it's not that cold. I actually thought it would be colder, but um, feels cold anyways. I'm gonna stay anchored here. Maybe there's more. That was nuts. That's usually a very bad sign if you catch something on the first cast though. Oh boy. Oh man, just had a really nice one up. Just had a really nice one up. Come on. That thing was eh, 35 or better. Spooked like a usual pike would. Holy cow, all right. I just switched to the Poseidon. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to throw this for a little bit, this little eight inch white Poseidon, but I just had one nice mid thirties nosing in on the bait. I could see them eating boat side here, but well, that's a promising start. I didn't really want to fish this spot, but I haven't seen many that are in that mid thirties class out here. So I might just hang around this spot and grind it out. There's gotta be one giant lane here. It's a pretty big spot, so. First cast sadness. That's incredible. How many, how often that happens when you 
throw the first cast, you get bit, and I know more action. Um, I thought it wouldn't be possible with pike fishing, but I guess I'm wrong. So anyways, the wind's laid down. I don't think this is gonna really kick up this evening. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go hit the spot that I absolutely love, seeing the biggest fish there. So gonna go for a little boat ride and uh, hopefully catch some fish <laughs> over there. go just made it to the next spot it's not that big <laughs> it felt good though oh my gosh the reason i am pike fishing on the full moon is because as musky anglers we don't catch many fish <laughs> it's not like we're bass fishing it's not like we're uh bluegill fishing every day and whatnot so i wanted to come out and go do something i haven't done in a long time and catch some fish and i've been not doing so great at first but just rolled up to the next spot and things are looking good not a big one but it is a pike sweet see you buddy just rolled up to some old waypoints that I marked three years ago when I was doing this and uh, the weeds are still here so that's amazing and the fish are still here well there's one at least that's uh, that I know of something to think about if you guys are ever Great Lakes fishing I learned this out on St. Clair is to kind of vary your cast see like right there I cast it straight in front of me which is typically what you do you stay in your own lane kind of, oh just got ripped oh my gosh just got ripped just got ripped she's still there nope oh okay but like what i was saying is if you're fishing giant spots and you're drifting and say you're drifting like me i'm drifting 0.4 to 0.6 right now um should probably cast back at that thing but whatever keep saying what i'm saying here is kind of vary your cast kind of fan cast the area while you're drifting um, it's especially effective when you have two people in the boat you can really hit a wide a range of spots especially if you're not drifting super fast i know sometimes you'll be daydreaming and you'll just be casting the one same lane and it seems to work better if you just kind of fan cast your region oh my goodness it feels good not musky fishing fish that bite i like pike I know we always get in the comments, why don't you like pike? Well, when we're musky fishing, pike is not what we're going after, and they can kind of be annoying sometimes. But when you're targeting them, it's super fun. Oh, yeah. Tiny, tiny head shakes, though. Not what I'm after. Felt good at first. Gosh, they are just eating this thing. Oh. Gosh, that's so fun. I love this clear water. Ooh, this one's got a bite mark on the back here. Whatever's trying to eat this one, eat this one is the one I'm after. I'm gonna anchor up here. Bye bye. All right. Not what I'm after, but a bite's a bite. Let's see if my tails are holding up here on this black guy. Oh, it's getting there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, just, just next cast. That's a better one. Oh my gosh, is this fun. Oh, she's just kicking my butt. There's a 
better one. Practice for some netting solo muskies here. <laughs> she just won't stop. Oh my gosh. This thing is just incredible. All right. That's a good one. Next to the boat, stay, <laughs> still same anchor point. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All righty. Nice skater. All right, he's not that big, but he really did have a nice tussle. Oh, I'm having fun doing something different. I thought he was going to be a low 30s, but no, he's not. I'm going to get a quick bump on him. Nice. Have to do some math. I bumped it weird. But... 29. So not even 30. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> Great Lakes Pike. I was curious. Didn't know how big that one was, but I'm having fun catching some fish. <laughs> Well, that was kind of a disappointing evening pike fishing. They shut off after that last fish, not even a follow, nothing. Felt good though to actually fish for a different species for once. Um, nice being back out here on Lake Superior. <sighs> one of these days though, I will catch a giant pike out of this place. Um, did see that one, 35 to 36, come follow in on the aged Poseidon. That was kind of neat. Good to see one good one, but Ah, I'm not a big fan of that first cast bite. Um, at least I got one good little window there at the end here. But uh, yeah, that's how she goes. Um, comment below, what is your guys' favorite species to target when you're not musky fishing or you need to take a break from musky fishing? Um, felt good setting the hook multiple times in a day, so. But I wish I did a little bit more. But anyways, I got three days of musky fishing coming up here so just kind of wanted to take a break go for some pike um, yeah I do love it up here um, fishing by absolutely nobody because nobody does this so kind of fun that way um, all out all by yourself on a big giant lake so that was fun anyways guys thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button like button we'll see you on the next video